Research has really shown the importance of active learning for helping our undergraduates learn better, particularly in large lecture classes. At UCI, this is becoming even more important as we face growing class size in many sectors around the campus. One solution to this problem is to bring undergraduate learning assistance into the classroom. It takes the large lecture classroom and makes it have a much smaller feel as the undergraduates can help with the amount of small group work. The main redesign that I did was the lecture is, is 50 minutes long and I made sure that after about 20 minutes I posed some kind of question to the students and then asked them to work on it. At which point the learning assistants, the TAs, and myself all walked around the class and talked to students and asked them what kinds of problems they had and tried to work with them in this problem. And that would be about a 10 minute break. You really need to spend each week meeting with the undergraduates, preferably in an integrated meeting with the rest of the team around the class. This allows you to bring the undergraduates into the process, learn what their challenges and troubles are, but also present them with what they need to do in the upcoming week. We find it very important to have everyone together in the same room for our training meeting, our TAs, our LAs, and the instructor. If we think of our learning as a spectrum, where we have a beginning student who doesn't yet understand the idea on one side, and the instructor who's an expert on the other side, the TAs and the LAs sort of fill in the area in between. And really our goal in teaching the content is to help the students discover these very difficult ideas on their own. But for us to help a student discover, we often have to think about what are the right questions that we ask them. And this is where the LAs are really a crucial part of our meeting, because being undergraduate students themselves, they remember most uh, clearly what it's like to be a new struggling student. The Learning and Academic Resource Center runs the training and certification program for the undergraduate learning assistants. LAs attend a weekly pedagogy course to learn research-based strategies that are specifically targeted to support small group instruction. The LAs that go around are their peers and they end up having a much more organic and fluid conversation that really allows them to just say what they're really thinking without any kind of pressure and anxiety going along with that. And that allows them to be able to explore the concepts uh, much more constructively. Having an LA around that's closer to the student's age is a lot more helpful because they feel more comfortable asking me questions than they would the TA because they know that I've been through the physics class a lot more recently and they know that I struggled with the same problems that they had. The relationships you develop with other people being in LA is great. The, t the relationships between the TAs and the LAs in my experience were really great. You make a lot of good friends and a lot of those TAs have a lot of experience that they can share with you and you can learn a lot from them. All of this becomes even more critical as we move forward with the Anteater Learning Pavilion, which is going to be a major active learning classroom space, particularly with a 400 person and a 250 person lecture hall that's focused on active learning and small group work. So having these undergraduate learning assistants will really help transform your teaching in these spaces. Learning assistants have several responsibilities and in exchange are awarded units for their work. The responsibilities of the course instructor are to redesign their course to contain regular small group work, to run a weekly meeting with their TAs and LAs, and to ask students to complete an online survey for course credit at the end of the quarter. To learn more, contact a director today.